Hey, this is Bob and Joe. You're listening to Spiritual North. Today I'm going to read an article um, entitled August Picard Describes Earth as Flat Disc. And basically it's a short write-up that I did um, about uh, August Picard and his adventures in a hot air balloon. Let's dive in. August Picard reports Earth view as disc from 9.9 miles up. 51,775 feet. Quote, through portholes the observers saw the earth through coppered colored then bluish haze. It seemed a flat disk with upturned edge, end quote. From 10 miles high in an airtight balloon, Popular Science Magazine, page 23, August edition. 1931. This is the cover image from Popular Science Magazine. The caption reads, the title reads, 10 miles high in an airtight balloon, and the caption reads, back to earth on Australian glacier after soaring 10 miles above the earth priceless scientific records are removed from the airtight aluminum ball. So August Picard went up in a airtight aluminum ball and looked out and saw the earth um, and said that it seemed a flat disk with upturned edge. This kind of sounds like a frisbee upside down. Kind of sounds like flat earth. This was published in 1931, so you know, at that stage in history, I think the, the flat earth rage that began in the late 1800s had died off. People were coming back from the war, people weren't thinking about flat earth. August Picard just described what he saw. Uh, I'm going to read the actual article, because a lot of people mention the article. And it's not too long, but nobody actually, not many people are, I, I haven't seen anybody read it, literally. Uh, a huge yellow balloon soared skyward a few weeks ago from Augsburg, Germany. Instead of a basket, it trailed an airtight black and silver aluminum ball. Within, Professor August Picard, physicist, and Charles Kipfer aimed to explore the air 50,000 feet up. Seventeen hours later, after being given up for dead, they returned safely from an estimated height of more than 52,000 feet, almost 10 miles, shattering every aircraft altitude record. Oxygen tanks kept them alive while they made observations. Records of their instruments are now being checked and interpreted. First to rise safely into the upper layer of the Earth's atmosphere, they found the air pressure at 10 miles altitude so low, one-tenth of the Earth at sea level, that a man exposed to it would perish much as a deep-sea fish bursts of its own internal pressure when brought to the Earth's surface. Picard and his aide found cosmic rays, mysterious radiations from outer space, far more powerful than at the Earth's surface, and gauged their intensity. The explorers trapped samples of the upper air, quote, blue air, as Picard reported it to appear, in cylinders. Analysis may prove it exceptionally rich in ozone, the intensely blue gas supposedly responsible for the heavy side layer or radio roof. The story of their adventure surpasses fiction. During the ascent, the aluminum ball began to leak they plugged it desperately with Vaseline and cotton waste, stopping the leak. In the first half hour, the balloon shot upward nine miles. Through portholes, the observers saw the earth through copper-colored, then bluish haze. It seemed a flat disk with upturned edge. At the ten-mile level, the sky appeared a deep, dark blue, with observations complete. The observers tried to descend, but couldn't. While their oxygen tanks emptied, they floated aimlessly over Germany, Austria, and Italy. 
cool evening air contracted the balloon's gas and brought them down on a glacier near Obergurgel, Austria, with one hour's supply. Obergurgel, Austria, with one hour's supply of oxygen to spare. Caption here reads, Professor Picard's center seated within the ball, studies the instruments before the daring ascent, above dismantling balloon on the high glacier. <sighs> Very interesting. Wrote a little more on the blog post and I'll show you the cover. Interestingly, Picard remarked in an interview shortly after this journey that the world seemed a strange place to uh, to him, although he'd only been off at 18 hours. It's from an article published in the Chicago Daily Tribune, quote, To Almost Die in Balloon's Cage, page 1, May 29th, 1931. Here is the cover, Popular Science Magazine, that wrote the article about Picard. I'm Baba Joe, you're listening to Spiritual North. Thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you next time.